Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to set up your Roku TV. And in this example, I'm gonna be setting up the new Roku Plus Series 4K QLED television. So what we wanna do in the first step is you have to decide whether you want to set your TV on the legs that come with it, or of course you can set it up on a TV mounted bracket. You'd have to buy that separately though. I set mine up using the feet that came with the Roku TV. There's four screws, it's pretty easy to screw them in. And when you have your TV set up how you like it, then you need to plug the television in. And when you plug in your Roku TV, it should turn on automatically, but if it does not, then you can press the power button, and the power button is located right below the bottom area right here. And I'm going to take you over to my TV and walk you through this process, but also keep note that the back of the Roku remote right here, you're going to find the pairing button. And when we have our TV powered on and turned on initially... What we wanna do is press and hold the pairing button for five seconds until the status light turns green and starts blinking. Your remote will pair automatically with your Roku TV at that point. So I'm gonna take you over to my Roku TV to show this initial connection process and pairing the remote. And then after that, I'm gonna walk you through the process on activating your TV and getting it connected to a Roku account. So once I plugged in the TV, within about 10 seconds, we get that Roku screen to pop up and then it takes us to the Let's Get Started page. But first we're gonna pair our Roku remote. So we get a prompt here on the back of our Roku remote. There's a little button towards the bottom. We're gonna hold that button four or five seconds until this green light starts to flash. And then the Roku remote is going into pairing mode. We can see that it is pairing the remote to the TV. And now with our remote paired, we can confirm this by using the up and down arrows to move through the menu. We need to select the language. I'm gonna be selecting English, clicking OK on the remote to select that. And I'm gonna be setting this up for home use, so clicking OK on that option. If you're plugging your internet in directly with an ethernet cable, you can do a wired connection, but most of you guys are probably gonna be doing wireless. I'm gonna be doing wireless myself, so clicking OK on that and then clicking OK on set up new wireless connection. Then it's going to scan for wireless signals in my vicinity. And then I need to select my Wi-Fi internet router. For me, that's going to be ASUS 22. So I'm going to click OK on that. So then typing in the Wi-Fi router password. And after typing in that password, clicking connect here towards the bottom. So then it's going to check to make sure that you have a good wireless connection and that you are connected to the internet. Once you get those green check marks, you should be good to go to now have internet connected to your Roku TV. And then it's going to go into a software update, checking for new software that might be available. And there is an update available. So it's going to update the Roku TV with the latest software. And once the update is installed, it's going to restart the TV automatically. So I'm going to click OK. Now after the TV has rebooted, we can now activate our Roku TV. It wants us to enter in an email address to get a Roku activation link email sent to that email that we type in so that we can start streaming. Now if you already have a Roku account, you can simply just enter in the email that you already have set up with a Roku account. But for this example, I'm gonna be doing a fresh brand new Roku account to show you guys what that looks like. So I'm gonna enter in the email address, click okay on that option, enter in the email address here and then click continue. So going over to my email account and in my inbox, I have this email from Roku to activate my device. So I want to click on this button right here where it says activate device. Now, if the email does not show up in your inbox, it could be in your junk mail or your clutter folder. So be sure to check those as well if you can't find your Roku activation email in your inbox. But I'm going to be clicking right here where it says activate device. That's going to take us over to a page where we're going to create a Roku account if we need to do that. So enter in the first and last name that's going to be associated with this Roku account, a password for this email, then enter in a birthday, gender, and agreeing to the terms and conditions in the privacy policy. You can check those out. And once you do so, you can check this box as well as confirming that you're not a robot. And then after doing that, you can click continue at the bottom. If you'd like to add a layer of security to your Roku, you can choose your PIN preferences. So essentially requiring a PIN to make purchases or add channels to your Roku. You could also just require a PIN to make purchases or you can opt to not have a PIN. So make that choice and then click continue. This next step is optional. You can set up Roku Pay, essentially linking a payment option so that when you're using your Roku TV, if you're paying for a subscription or maybe renting a movie or things such as that, then you already have a payment on file to do those things. So if you'd like to set up Roku Pay, you can do so by entering in your credit or debit card information. You can link up a PayPal account, or if you'd like to skip this step entirely, you can click here at the bottom where it says skip this step. 
And then you can name your device. So if you'd like to name it something, you can do so in this area. I'm just going to leave the name what it is standard. You can also put in which room the device is located in. For me, it's living room. And if you've read and agreed to the Roku products terms of use, you can check this box and then click continue. Then it's asking, do you pay for cable or satellite TV? So if you do pay for cable or satellite, you can click yes and then enter in that information. I don't have cable or satellite, so I'm going to click no. And then it asks, do you currently subscribe to any of these services? So for me, I have Hulu, I have Disney Plus, HBO Max. And of course, you would select the apps that you have and then click continue. And then it's asking to select your interest to help build your channel lineup. So for me, I'm going to select free movies and TV as well as sports. And then I'm going to click continue. And then it's asking if I'd like to add some additional channels to my Roku home screen. So it's going to show different popular applications. And this is going to be dependent on what you had selected on the previous screen. So I'm going to add Tubi, Pluto TV. Those are really popular free app options. I'm also going to add ESPN and YouTube and then click continue. And then it's offering some different free trials that I can get access to, but I'm not interested in these free trials. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and then click on continue. And the Roku account setup is now complete. I can manage my account preferences and subscriptions over at my.roku.com or I can click go to my account right here. And there's some additional options here. You can get the Roku mobile app for your phone. If you have an antenna hooked up to your Roku TV, you can also get free local channels. And if you're interested in learning some more tips and tricks with Roku, you can click learn more down here. So now I'm going to take you back over to the Roku TV so we can wrap up this setup process. Now back over to the Roku TV, it says let's connect your devices. So clicking OK on the Roku TV remote. So you have the option either to set this up now or do it later, but you can connect all of your devices to the TV. So things like your cable box, video game consoles, things like that. Connect all of those devices to the TV, turn them on, and then select where it says everything is plugged in and turned on. And then the Roku TV is going to recognize these devices and put those inputs on your home screen. So like I said, you can either set this up right now or you can do this step later. And then you can give voice consent. So if you'd like to have this hands-free voice option available to you, you can have the switch turned on. And then you click the checkbox here on where it says I understand. And then you can click continue at the bottom. And some tips for the hands-free voice. You're going to want to speak towards the remote, not towards the TV. Make sure the remote is nearby and you can reduce background noise to make this more effective. So clicking continue at the bottom and we're done with this setup. So again, clicking OK on the Roku remote. Then that's going to take you through a quick tutorial. I'd recommend watching it to get some tips and tricks and just how to use the basic functions of your Roku TV. After that, it's going to take you to the homepage of your Roku TV and everything should be set up and ready to go at this point in time. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the setup process with your Roku TV. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.